What is up, killers? Kevin today back with a brand new episode of five new console mods to hit the Bethesda on our website this week. This is going to be episode 568 within my series, but without further ado, guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Silver Plated Camp, coming in at 24.8 kilobytes of a download, head over to Robber's Gorge and it is now called the Silver Plates Camps. There are a lot more NPCs that belong to this particular camp and other different of this mod author's mods enclosed and encumbered within this particular mod. So a few familiar faces if you have been following this particular mod author on the Professor Donald website. Also added a lot of extra things to the camp as well. Yes, you have to enter it itself, enter the cove itself to to see all of these ones. The bandits that will be fighting are few and regular, but thus upon that is no problem for these particular warriors that guard this beautiful camp now. Guys, there's a little bit of an issue to do with my contrast or conflict to do with my load order on the PlayStation 4, hence why there is going to be a couple of grey faces, if not a pixelated purple faces, but there's going to be other mods out there that do obviously work absolutely flawless with this, but in this particular occasion, this one did clash with my particular load order. Re Foresting Skyrim coming in at 49.6 megabytes of a download. This mod is absolutely beautiful and unique in so many ways it is unbelievable. I love how this particular mod works and personally it is going to be a sort of crafting your own landscape mod in a pretty much a nutshell. Reforging Skyrim is a small mod that adds a spell to the game called Plant and with this particular one you can add a variety, a probably an endless list of colourful trees anywhere you want and as many as you want indeed. How this works you will need to head over to the White Run Stables, upon there is going to be a little building, head on over there in this particular location set on screen, find a shovel and once upon getting that shovel head over into your miscellaneous section to do with your infantry, activate the shovel and upon closing and activating the shovel by equipment it simply you'll be prompted by the next screen of what particular sort of plant spells you do want to craft and create once upon doing that and creating those particular spells head over to the conjuration category to do with your magic and there they will be equip them and pretty much spam and place these beautiful particular trees wherever you want as you can tell i pretty much did the outside of white run to how i want but you can pretty much do the whole game i'm not too sure if there's going to be a time limit set on these particular trees as they are coming in as a spell but personally i think they're absolutely awesome even for a short period of time they're absolutely beautiful they worked flawlessly it was smooth and honestly no performance issues whatsoever via placing these particular trees in this particular order within my game kajik apex armory coming at 140.4 megabytes of a download this is going to be a request port with permission from the mod author from the nexusmods.com to head over and grace us on the Bethesda on our website this is going to be a standard an armor mod and it does require the xp32 maximum skeleton or the minimum skeleton this mod is a must must for anyone out there who is doing modding it's kind of like in par personally with the unofficial skyrim patch too so if you haven't got that one you will need that one incredibly small download size and it's absolutely epic that one is going to be linked underneath this one if you guys haven't got that one but for this one to obtain all of the armor sets you can actually make a few of them within the forge i personally would stay very clear of that the requirements and sort of the list of sort of things to build the armor and the weapons it does get kind of expensive but if you want a cheap alternative option head over to any Kajik caravan this one is going to be located just outside of white run we all know that there is going to be one there go over to him and he pretty much sells absolutely everything that you will need loads of different variants of color to do with the armors and loads of beautiful detailed weapons to accompany this particular armor mod as well you get a full rundown of everything shields battle axes two handers one handers all of the armors the helmet is going to be my favorite piece that definitely does give me nostalgia from a old monk set to do with diablo 3 if you know what i mean let me know in the comment section let's have a little chat about that why not but honestly it looks absolutely great now if you are forging this you will need to head over to the skyforge within white rum and on the rim of the skyforge there's going to be a book called the art of kajik armor that will allow you to basically rustle up all of the particular items within the forge but if you can't be bothered like i said before head over to any particular kajik caravan and you can pretty much pick up all of the pieces that you will need ia92's advanced console graphics version one this one is coming in 112 kilobytes of a download we've had 
add a few of these console graphic sort of mods. Usually they do change the coloring to do with the game. Uh, sort of the it's kind of like a big filter on the game. If I'm perfectly honest, there's loads of them out there. But for this particular one, how to narrow it down in a nutshell, just upon looking at these particular images without a cross reference of vanilla and this particular mod. All I can say of this one is it kind of is more of a realistic lighting filter to do with the particular game. If you want a full realistic look between the before and the after in a comparison shot between that one, the mod author does have a comparison video on their particular channel. If you want to look that up, there is going to be a link via the Professor on a website description is all in there if you want to have a little look up. This is paired with other different mods that I do not have within my load order. The mod author does recommend a few other different graphics slash overhaul weather mods and other different gameplay mods that go well with it. I don't have those so the outcome is going to be different but as I said before there's loads out there so it's kind of a case of sort of trialing out which ones you do like and don't like it's very hard to tell but if you like what you see on screen now it's going to be this particular mod overlaying other different mods and i do have my load orders down within my own comment section for you guys to have a little look at a Midian Born White Run coming in at a big boy download size of 167 megabytes of a download. This one is coming with four perms of permissions to the Professor No website from the NexusMods.com. But guys, this mod contains a set of 170 handcrafted textures for the whole entirety of White Run, inside and out. This mod has got you covered. For someone that is sort of primarily always in white run if you haven't got a collection of graphic mods and you just want something big and that just encumbers basically everything that you would need within a collection of quotations graphics mods this one is going to be great if you do not have anything but the features of this one are around 99 percent of the textures are from scratch one percent is only going to be reworking the vanilla normal map or mapping around the particular settlement no funny upscaling or vanilla overlaying texture work so basically no sort of just slight tweaks this is going to be a definite notice and a definite change i run this with a few other different mods as you can tell but it worked absolutely flawlessly pretty much a plug and play too but it does say in this one the compatibility is not compatible with any other textures that you do have within the same name not too sure what that means if you want to use the full mod to its potential pretty much be using this one only you'll definitely see the difference i noticed some realistic textures even overlaying my other different existing mods scattered around to do with white run so if i said before if you're not running any graphic commands that do change white run and you want something a complete package i'd recommend this one you are definitely going to notice the difference the textures are going to be absolutely on point and overall collectively the download size is definitely worth it for an overhaul to do with white run so guys, that's the end of this particular episode. This has been episode 568 within my series. Guys, if you did enjoy, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me an awful lot. If you're new around it too, why not consider clicking that little subscribe button. Run it as well. There is going to be a bell notification button. If you click that, apparently some way, shape or form, you should get a notification every single time I post a video like this to the channel. But guys, until the next one, this has been Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out.